guys, welcome to another episode of Top Tips. Today I am with Devlin, who, on, according to Vogue magazine, has been hailed <laughs> as Essex Eminem. I can't get away from the Eminem comparison, but I always say he's a powerful man. Yeah. To be placed in the same bracket even, that's a compliment, man, but I'm just doing my thing. A lot of people have got behind me this year. Absolutely. I'm just very, very thankful to be one. And it has one been then. a busy year for you. Yeah, it has. There's been a lot been going on. You've, um, well, in the past 16 months, you've been signed to Island. Yeah. There's been three singles. Brainwash, we've had Runaway, we've released Bud, Sweat and Beers. We've got Let It Go with Labyrinth coming out very shortly. So, yeah, and I don't even think it's been 12 months yet since no, signing. So, so, But no, it's just been such an enjoyable year, yeah. really. As I said to you earlier, I've done Wembley with Paul Weller last week. So. so the new single, Let It Go, is out on the 30th of January. Yeah. Go buy it. And that is with Labyrinth. What was it like working with him? Because he's... Oh, wow, that's He's done just thing, going yeah. all over the shop right now. <laughs> no, that was just me, me and Labyrinth clicked, you know what I mean? He's down to a nice geezer and just overly, overly talented, man. Yeah. So it was just nice to be in there with someone I've got a lot of respect for anyway. And yeah, we come out, we let it go, man. I'm, I'm glad we've done the show. And what else is happening next year for you? What does 2011 hold for Devlin? Oh, that rhymed. Did it? 2011. I was thinking what I'm doing next year. It's I don't even need a bar. I can, I can be an MC. I've got a new white woman. But no. I can sing, I can't spit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, next year we're just going to be about. We've got a little tour going off in February, but nice. we're going to start a little tour. No, no, no massive venues yet, but we're going to do our thing, get out, see the fans, you know what I mean? And we're going to go around the country? Yeah, we're going to be up and down. Like, yeah. so like, we've had one that got the album, we're going to be out performing the songs and that. And, and something that I'm sort of quite interested in talking about, what what do you think about sort of being a white MC in the game? Um, do you feel that you kind of need to work that bit harder to sort of prove yourself or kind of be taken a bit more seriously? Or have you not really felt that? I'm white, I'm better than a lot of people, and I don't care. Like, see, if anyone got a problem with it, it's not, see, colour, like, <laughs> I don't know, I can't even see that. I can't say I've been a victim of racism over the years or. Yeah. It's what it is, man. We roll together. My pals are black, white, orange, brown, and we set about mics, we set about stadiums. And that's what we do, man. Don't, no, it's, absolutely. That's not a thing in my eyes. No, um, what's with the white hair? The white hair. Salt and pepper. Too much stress. Like, do you know what it is? The great Lord, yeah, like, he blessed me with this grey hair because I can carry it off. You I'm can carry white, it off. So No, you can. Completely. <laughs> no, do you know what? When I was 11, I started getting grey hairs through here, grey hairs through there. Really? And I've got a little bit of gel in today as well. If I didn't have the gel in, I probably would look like Victor Meldrum. Apparently it's hereditary. It's not though, like my old man's 50, he's got every right to have grey hair. But, <laughs> but no one that young in my family ever went grey. What is your bedroom music? Bedroom and when music. bedroom, I mean when the opportunity arises, the occasion arises. Drum and bass. Because <laughs> that's how I go in. <laughs> <laughs> Shy effects. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice. Okay. You know that about you already. Um, what are you. <laughs> what, are your, uh, what are your New Year's resolutions for 2011? I say it every year, but I've got to cut down smoking. Maybe look after the diabetes a bit better. But I hope I stick to it. You're diabetic? I am. I am diabetic. I've been diabetic for about, since I was 14, so coming up for about seven years, I suppose. Type 1 or type 2? Type 1. Is that the one you have to... Inject, yeah. Like, really? Yeah. My dad's diabetic. Is he? Yeah. What type is he? Type 2. Is he type 2? Yeah. Tablet. But he, was, he's, he was a bit overweight, sorry dad, but he was a bit no, overweight. That's true, a lot of older people. he lost, like, had to lose like two stones. Yeah. yeah. No, a lot of older people that are overweight can track that type 2. But it's quite common that they be uh, the type one. Young? Uh, no, the young, uh, the young people are mostly really? on injections, like for some reason. Yeah. But like, you can control that type, type two, with tablets because it's not as extreme. Okay, so are you quite sort of? Ha what's your diet like? So hard, especially this year, running around. But basically, I just got to have you know I mean? four good meals a day, doing my injections, trying to keep my sugar levels down. And I'm still here, you know what I mean? I've, I've had an hectic year, I handled it all right, but yeah, it's just about trying to keep a monitor and things like that. What would you like to wake up to tomorrow morning as your Christmas present? What do you want Santa to bring you? Carol Vaughan, the big bow rounder. Mm, you like the older women? I love you, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, thank you. Yeah, I, thank well, you I wish you the best of luck next year. It's going to be big. Until next time.